<sighs> Damn, James Franco. You messed up, man. So, apparently, James Franco has allegedly asked a teenage girl who's 17, you know, underage girl, to meet up with him at a hotel that he will pay for himself. And how do we know this? Because there's proof. And this is what gets me about the Huffington Post and like all these other articles saying that it's allegedly. There's no allegedly, it's clear as day because it's on the damn screenshots. How do I know that this girl couldn't have photoshopped it? Because this girl didn't even know what cereal meant. That the hashtag could actually mean that, oh, can I get your hashtag? Meaning, oh, can I get your number? She didn't know that. That is a problem. So obviously this girl is not the brightest. I mean, how do you reject James Franco? Like, I don't know. And James Franco was obviously thirsty, even though he says he wasn't. James Franco, you were obviously really thirsty that night. You offered to pay for a hotel. And even the convo shows it. I mean, it starts off with saying, do you have a boyfriend five minutes ago? Four minutes ago, she says, nearly 18, my mom. She's probably British or something. And not if you're around, heart, 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 heart. This girl is obviously completely into James Franco and she's such a flirt and a tease like Three minutes later he says when is your birthday? Three minutes again he says where are you staying? Three minutes again he's like what's your hashtag number? That's pretty thirsty Three messages in a row That's a real big sign that you are on your thirst There's the combo if you don't want to believe me it's right there clear as day Look at that thirst. That's supreme thirst right there. Three messages in a row. Come on now. Come on now. You're James Franco. You shouldn't be doing this. You could get like a model girlfriend or something. You're a celebrity and you've made movies. You made a movie. I love This Is The End. And Pineapple Express. You were so fucking awesome in that video. Spring Breakers was not that good. Um, You were alright. It was. I think it was funny though. <laughs> And he says, can I see you as long as you are James Franco? I am, you're single, what's the hotel? Should I rent a room? Four, that's four texts in a row. You don't do this ever if you're trying to spit game. Don't do that. Then you send her a picture of you saying, it's me, yes or no, tomorrow, or Thursday, three more texts. The thirstiness is very, very, very strong in this one. Then I guess you were like scared that she would tell her friend, so you said don't tell. Then you wrote, I gave it to you, if you don't want to meet me, then text me when you do, bye. Sounds like you're angry. She says, you sound so dodgy though, then you wrote bye again. Yeah, someone's pissed. So then, yeah, so then she says, one second, I will meet you if you write my name on a piece of paper. So she's making you do a lot of work. And the fact that you actually did it is supreme thirstiness right there. Ah, oh, man. And there you are. James Franco showing off uh, the paper. Damn. Yeah, you pretty much got caught, man. This just goes to show us that even celebrities get thirsty and even celebrities cannot get laid. And of course, the most important one of them all is don't ever talk to girls that are underage. It's horrible. It's pedophilia or being a pedophile, whatever it's called. <sighs> poor James Franco, man. I feel for you like that's that's got to be horrible. Like, oh man. <sighs> poor James Franco, man. I feel for you because I get a lot of messages like that too. Like girls trying to flirt with you and trying to hit you up, trying to get your number, and I avoid that shit completely because I'm just like, no, I'm not getting in trouble. Like, no, I'm not. I end up like James Franco. <laughs> so I can only imagine you since you've actually done videos, like movies. You've done some big shit that I probably I don't know if I'll ever reach that point, but you know we'll see. I can dream, right? So I can only imagine how many fans hit you up and like try to get your number and try to flirt with you and that temptation must be huge. Hopefully they figured out that maybe this is fake and that this was a hoax or a joke or something because it was April, no it's not April Fools anymore. Shit. Oh well, that was yesterday but because <laughs> you could say that. You could say that. That might have happened yesterday on April 1st. Today's the second, right? No, today's the third. Yeah, you're in trouble. Can you get in trouble for that? Like, can you get in trouble for just like messaging people? Cause you gave out your number, like, like he gave out his number, and I don't know if you could get in trouble for just like texting. I don't know. This is, they just talked, nothing happened, nothing went down, so he didn't do nothing bad, essentially. But he did talk to a minor. I don't know. Write in the comment section below if you could get in trouble with that. I hope not for James Franco's sake, cause I wouldn't want nothing bad for him or anybody else in that situation. Hope you guys enjoyed my, you know, opinion and rant about this topic. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more vlogs in this channel, my second channel. I have a main channel, guys. If you want to go see videos about me and like other stuff that I talk about, relationships, Latinos, Ecuador, just go to my main channel right here, you know, subscribe there and check it out. Hopefully you enjoy. Alright guys, see you later.